Well, sweet corn showing up in abundance at grocery stores and farmers markets. For those feeling a little adventurous, there are many ways to liven up corn on the cob or even off. We have Terry Chaffer here from Love That Olive in Maple Grove. She's uh, going to be here with some uh, wonderful ideas beyond just butter and salt, which are just fine. But you've come up with more than 60 ways. That's why I love having you here. I did. You know, everyone loves corn with butter on it. But it gets kind of boring sometimes. You want to jazz it up, and it's really easy. And people don't think they can just jazz up corn. It's so easy to do that. So we're here to show you. And your store, which you have obviously specialized with the various olive oils yes. and its true real olive oil, you have all these other sauces and spices and things. And all you have uh, cooking classes where you experiment with some we of this do. stuff, right? We have a lot of fun with different things. We're actually going to talk about one of the things we do that people love today. And the first one is, is so the first this, one. Let's yep. grill right okay. here. We're going to take just regular corn and you're going to put it on your grill. As you're grilling it, you're going to just drizzle it with some sweet cream butter olive oil. Okay, sweet cream butter olive oil tastes just like butter. How about? It's amazing, but you're not going to get that. You, yeah. It's much better for you. Mm -hmm. And as that's cooking, then we're taking our hot peach bourbon jam, and it's a sauce jam, and you're just going to start Look how good that looks. What are the I flakes know. in there? Little These are little red pepper, red flakes, pepper flakes to give it that Ooh, little heat. So it. you just keep grilling it for about 15 minutes and just keep marinating through. And then you have this wonderful corn over here that right has in the all front. that. Look at how good and it's that sweet, looks. but it has a little bit of the peach, which is great with corn. And I not. like it cold, so that's a nice thing. You can do it in advance. And you can make it into yeah. a cold salad and great. just dump this right in with it and stir it in. Love that idea. It's What's fantastic. next? The next I like to grill corn also in tin foil. Mm -hmm. So all I do is take two pieces of tin foil, four cobs, and sweet cream butter olive oil again. Just drizzle it right over the top. And then you're going to fold it up, seal your edges. And so it steams that way? It's steaming mm -hmm. this way. And when you take it off, you don't need to add butter to it. Oh, that's great. Yes. If you want, just add a little of your favorite seasoning to it. I like to add a little of our garlic sea salt to it. It's a black what? garlic sea salt. That's great. And then when you open it up, it's just like down here where it's all steamed oh. beautiful and it's all juicy. And how easy Perfect. is that? Perfect. Loving that. What do you have in front of us? Okay, this yeah. is um, a little take on a Mexican corn. It's so popular these days. You'll see it on menus a lot of times, but it's a lot of work to do that, the original. So all I have done is I grilled the corn with lime olive oil, because lime with Mexican Mexican, of course, goes together really well. And then we just take and you put it on your platter. On top of it, you grate up a little bit of this Mexican style cheese. And um, it is called Cotija. Cotija. Cotija cheese. Yes. I'm familiar with it. Yeah. And you crumble it all across yep. the top. And then we took just a little of our sriracha garnishing. Um, it's a little squeeze bottle that you just squeeze over the top. If, love it. I know. If you don't like that, go to the everything. It's not add as some hot. Nice heat. And you, add a little hot honey. Oh, loving that. Yeah, and yes. last but not least, let's talk about this salad because this, this looks so yummy. This salad is a corn salad. So we just took and cooked our corn and you strip your corn right off. Just push it down. Yep. Just push it down. I'm in the wrong spot here. You're, you but are, you'll take it right hard. here. But there and it is in add, there. Yeah. Yes. And then you just add white balsamic with your... Um, white balsamic with the lime olive oil I and that's I, it i said last but not least but let's get to this okay. last one because that you is so cool i tasted that this it's is wonderful. amazing so this one we just grilled it with the sweet cream butter olive oil again and then we have a minnesota product that is called maple barbecue sauce and you had this one oh. and you put it right over the top and the maple is amazing and if you want you can yeah. add a little of the maple garlic seasoning. I'm loving all this and you have these products available. Yes. I love that olive we and do. maple grove. That's some great news there and good news for our viewers. Yes. You have these recipes online at care11.com. All you have to do is look at uh, under the as seen on TV on the care 11 app. Well stay with us. Uh, we're less than a week away from the state fair. Uh, uh, yeah, join us at the Care Barn. We're going to be broadcasting live uh, from 11 in the morning, uh, 4, 5, and 6, of course. The Big Red Barn, located near the corner of Judson and Nelson. There will be lots of fun guests and giveaways. Also, find out what's new at the Health Fair 11 building as well. The Minnesota State Fair runs through August 22nd and September 2nd. The gates open at 6 a.m. Well, up next, the best actors in town are getting together for